Welcome to term two, composites. And today we're going to be working on the P4 project. Okay, so installation of composite fastener. We are going to start with step one, which is laying out where the fastener is going to go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get our piece of uh, our square and we're going to put on the carbon fiber side. Don't look at the damage. Um, we're going to put a piece of tape right along the edge, about halfway along and same thing here, I'm going to put another piece of tape about halfway along, right along the edge, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me an educated stick here and I'm going to measure, and i got about nine inches, so at four and a half inches, actually use, yeah, it'd be a little bit smaller than this, but uh, we're going to mark halfway there, here I'm going to measure again, there we go, and about halfway here, and I'm going to put a mark right along the edge. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is halfway in between those two, I'm going to throw down a piece of two inch, just where I kind of figure my hole's going to be, and then get my straight edge, and put the straight edge between that point and that point, like that, and I'm going to draw a line through here, okay, and then from this corner to the far corner, okay, sort of like that okay okay i'm going to draw my second line so now i know where i'm going to put my hole so i'm going to get one of these and i'm going to find 7 16 which is right there's half and there is 3 8 which means this one right here is 7 16 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to center and in fact i'm going to do it on an angle here so i can line those center lines up on my 7 16 hole finder here. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to draw my hole for drilling. Okay, and so this position's off center. I don't want to be drilling into where we've done the repair and where there's hardened epoxy. We're going to put it again in a softer epoxy area. So this is why we've chosen this corner. Okay, notice where we are. We are now at a downdraft table so that we can uh, drill this and not worry about putting any um, dust and crap into the air. So again, turn it on, run it. I'm just going to do this quickly. So I've got a drill with a number 40 drill bit in it. And what I want to do is I want to very carefully make sure that this is going right exactly into the center of that hole. Perfect. So now I'm ready for the rotor brooch. Okay, now we're ready to do some, uh, some rotor broaching. So this tool is specifically designed, you can see it's got the little pin on the end right there. You can see a little, I don't know if you can see how well you can see that, but the little pin is designed where it can actually compress. So we're gonna push that into that center hole. It's gonna keep this tool nice and centered and it's gonna allow us to cut through that top surface. All we wanna do is just cut through the top surface, okay? So let's install it. Bring this down. Let it find center. There it is, it's in the hole. And now what we're gonna do is simply cut through the top layer. Okay, like that. Don't go any deeper than you need to. And there it is, just a little piece of carbon fiber, rotor brooch. Okay, the next tool we're going to use is this special drill bit. Notice how there is no, there's no real angle to it. It's pretty much flat. And it's just going to basically route down that hole a little bit. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. I'm actually going to fit it into the hole so I can turn it. And I know it's loose. Then I'm going to hold this solid, turn this on, and then take it down depth that I want it to go, just about there. Okay, so now I know that it's been cut deep enough to allow my cutting tool to go in all the way and, and now it can undercut. Okay, again, notice where we are. We are back at the grinding table, downdraft table. So again, turn it on so we're not making a mess, and then what we're going to do, so 
So we've got this, and we've got the cutting tool. So let's put the cutting tool into the drill. Tighten her up. Just snug. Doesn't have to be super tight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it in there and then work it around the hole just rubbing on that inside little bracket there. Okay, so, so what we're going to do is go in into the hole. Okay, cool. So now it's properly undercut. We're going to probably blow that out or vacuum it out and then we should be in good position to start thinking about putting our, our insert in. In order to hold our uh, insert exactly where we want, we need to have a good seal between the sticker and the, between the sticker and the composite. So first thing we've got to do is we've got to clean everything up. So what, what we're going to do here is grab our insert and we're going to uh, give it a little bit of a little shot of acetone. Um, make sure both sides kind of get a little bit of a rub. So again, we're just getting any oils or stuff off the top surface of the, uh, the fastener. So it should be nice and clean. and It'll stick well. And now we're just going to give the surface a quick rub just to make sure that it's got no oils. Next thing we want to do is we want to line up the holes in the attachment sticker with the holes on the um, uh, insert itself. So one side of the uh, sticker will just be plastic. The other side will have the paper and the adhesive. As much as you can, try not to touch that adhesive. We want to keep it as clean as possible. We're going to take our insert and we're going to line up the two holes in the insert with the two holes on our plastic sticker. Okay, once we get those lined up, and be super picky, we want those to fit just absolutely perfect. Uh, once we get those lined up, we're going to squeeze that thing super tight so that we get a good bond between the uh, insert and the sticker. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start making sure that uh, we've got a good fit. Apply a pressure. Now, apply pressure around the outside edge. Don't press in the center or you'll actually push the, um, the insert off. And so we want to make sure we've got that good solid connection between the sticker and the deck and between the, the uh, insert and the sticker as well. Next thing we're going to do is we're headed over to the uh, epoxy bar and we're going to mix ourselves up some um, actual base epoxy. And so this has been sped up a little bit, but we're going to uh, mix the A and B. And again, it's going to be in a small quantity, so you're going to want to be as picky as you possibly can. And when you're pulling the B out of its container, really make sure you get every last drop because it's going to affect the uh, mixture quite a bit. Take the time, the two minutes, do the full mix. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some filler. And you can see here I've added a bit of filler and mix that again for two minutes. Next thing we're going to be doing is putting it into a, a bent tip syringe. And so you'll see I'm going to load it. As I load it, I make sure that I've got a little bit of uh, airspace on the top. Don't ever just glob it in where it seals because you'll end up with big air bubbles trapped inside the, uh, the syringe. We don't want to do that. We want to kind of pour it down uh, one edge. So load that thing about eh, half to three quarters full and then we'll put the end back in the syringe and we're ready to head over to our insert once again. I would suggest that you uh, nip a little bit off the end of that tip just to uh, allow a little bit better flow rate. And that way when you get it down in the hole and push, uh, it won't take quite as long. It does take a while though, so don't be surprised. Uh, we're watching it here very carefully as we're filling in. What we want to do is completely fill that cavity around the edge of the insert so that it's completely locked in there. I would suggest pushing a little extra material out the other side. We'll see that in a minute on both sides so it's got a little bit of a reservoir to pull from when things start to settle down inside. Keep an eye on it for a good hour or so uh, after we've done the initial install to make sure that uh, as it fills inside it will pull that material back down in the hole. We want to make sure we're filled right to the very top. Next day we're going to rip off the, uh, the sticker and we should break all that material off flush and that's our finished product.